The uncanny valley is a fascinating phenomenon that has intrigued psychologists, roboticists, and even Hollywood directors for decades. This idea was first introduced by Masahiro Mori in 1970, and it describes the point at which a human-like robot or computer-generated image becomes so realistic that it starts to elicit an eerie, uncomfortable feeling in humans. Imagine you're watching a sci-fi movie and suddenly you see a robot that looks and acts like a human. At first you might be impressed by the realism of the robot, but as it starts to move and talk more like a human, you might start to feel uneasy, as if something is not quite right. That's the uncanny valley effect in action. What's interesting is that the effect is not just limited to robots or computer-generated images. It can also occur in other contexts, such as in virtual reality, or even in our interactions with other people. For example, when we encounter someone who is too friendly or too helpful, we might start to feel suspicious or uncomfortable. Despite its eerie nature, the uncanny valley effect has practical applications in the fields of robotics and animation. By understanding the point at which a human-like creation becomes too realistic, designers can create more engaging and relatable robots and characters without crossing the threshold into the uncanny valley. So, the next time you encounter a realistic-looking robot or character, pay attention to how you feel, and you might just be experiencing the uncanny valley effect.